In so many ways, it looks like your typical baseball game on a typical baseball field. Real close, Bob. But these batters don't swing for the ball with their eyes. They swing from their hearts. Please try to keep your voices down so that the outfielder and the batter can hear the ball. Ready, set, pitch. This is beatball. So close. Baseball for the blind. The ball beeps and the bases make noise, and a pitcher lets you know when to swing. Ready, set, pitch. Players like Chad Morey love taking the field. I like the, the sense of freedom that you get a chance to run again. You get to be free and run. It was two years ago when the Puyallup Elks agreed to transform this run-down tennis court area behind their lodge into a special field designed just for beatball. Soft, even ground covered in grass, no dirt so runners don't have to worry about getting hurt. Yeah, I've ran on some bad fields. <laughs> uh, there was a pit in one of them right before the base and, and my foot came out from underneath me and I just, I hit face first. Little early. Andy Bacon is both the coach and a former player. This means the world to us. You know, a lot of times you find blind people, uh, you know, that are just sitting around on the couch, not doing much because they don't feel like there's an activity out there for them. The land, the work, the grass, pretty much everything was donated. Fred Baker worked on this effort for the last two years. I'm ecstatic. I mean, not just this field, but where this field is. I mean, you can't ask for anything better than this. They played this inaugural game against Puyallup police who wore blindfolds to even the playing field. There's four strikes in this game, but they earn every hit. hit. Being able to hit that ball and then that excitement of running towards the base. The players might not be able to see the new field, but for the first time in a long time, this group feels like they're being seen. Amy Marino, King 5 News. So they're hoping the new field will encourage more people in the blind community to join the league. They're also hoping to expand to more activities for blind children.